Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're going to talk about how to not mess up the glute bridge. So, glute bridge or hip thrust, you could kind of throw in with this. Hip thrust is just a little bit more complicated, so it's a little harder to do correctly. Um, I have been putting off making this video because, to me, generally, it's kind of a dumb exercise to just program for someone. Uh, if you know if I'm not there to help you fix it because I don't see many people do this one correctly right off the bat now granted I, I see a lot of people who are in pain and have some movement dysfunctions but take that for what it's worth so what we're gonna try to do is I'm gonna start by showing you how to do it and then I'll walk you through all the ways to mess it up uh, so in in you know if I'm instructing you on how to do this one I'm gonna say okay we're starting on your back knees bent feet flat I like to put the hands down by the sides like this, palms flat on the ground. And then first move that you got to do is you got to learn how to tuck your hips. So we're trying to teach the hips to move and the back to stay loosey goosey. So I want you to push your low back gently into the ground. Just kind of let it melt into the ground. Let your belly button melt down as well. And then lift your tailbone up slightly. That's all. This is all the movement. Okay, I'm going to show you again. It's here to here. That's all it is. And now I, I can just, I can feel my hamstrings turned on. That's, a, that's the little bit that you need to get going on this one. So I'm pushing through the heels, back is down, tailbone's up, and I'm gonna maintain this position while I push my hips up towards the ceiling. Just like this. Get a nice glute squeeze. You might even feel some hamstring, hopefully. And then we're coming back down. And when you come back down, you want to make sure that the low back touches before the tailbone touches, right? You can re-tuck on each rep if you want, um, but that's more of an advanced technique, right? Don't do that right away. Um, so one more time all the way through. Uh, exhale, whoo, belly button falls down, back's pushing into the ground, tailbone tucks up, and bridge. Pause for a second to feel the glute squeeze and then come back down. So that's the, the short version. That's how you know, how you're supposed to do it. It's really easy to mess up. Um, and it's really easy to feel back tightness when you do this one. Like it's, it's so simple for the back to take over. Part of that could be, you don't have the hip mobility to do it. And then part of that could be, uh, you're just, you don't know how to do it. So let's walk through that. So there's the first way that people will mess it up. And this is generally more common in people who are kind of super fit. Um, but have a lot of nagging injuries, uh, you'll initiate with the back. So even if you tuck your hips, if you start by losing the hip tuck and you push your butt up by arching your back, you're not gonna feel so much glute. You might feel some, especially once you get to the, the very top, but your, your back is just increasing arching. It's doing most of, the, most of the movement. And we should look at the spine as a stabilization group of joints, not as a movement group of joints in a, in a case like this, right? So instead, we wanna tuck the hips and then initiate slowly pushing through the heels, making sure you're keeping the hip tuck. You should feel same kind of relative motion here, which is, you know, not much. And then you should feel these things kind of move. And that's what's gonna say, hey, I'm, I'm cueing the glutes on this one. Okay, so that's the first mistake. You're starting with the back. The second mistake is that you finish with the back. Uh, so you might get the tuck and you might initiate okay, but then as you start to lose movement, as you start to feel tension in the quads and hip flexors that is preventing you from doing this, you kind of give way to it, you let it win, hips roll forward, you lose that hip tuck, and then you arch the back at the top. <sighs> Big thing there is just, and this is another one, uh, most of my cues, I think they're easier if you just start by slowing down, go half speed, even quarter speed, and just kind of work through it. If you're feeling all the right things and you go slowly, then just try to speed up the next time and see if you can pop right into the end position, but still feel the right muscles. And that, you know, that's a good way to kind of progress through everything. So yeah, first mistake, arching the back right away. Second mistake, kind of pushing and then arching the back at the top. Now that could go two ways. One, it could be like, I don't have the tension uh, in the glutes and I'm giving way to the tension in the hip flexor and so my hips dump forward 
The other way is you just, if you're maximizing your range of motion on this exercise, you have to arch your back. Uh, so maybe don't do that. <laughs> maybe limit your range of motion. Just don't push as high. And then you'll get more glute, even though it feels like you're doing less, right? Uh, okay, so arching the back right away, arching the back at the top because of uh, movement problems or because you're going too far. And then the other way, this is a little harder to describe, but you're, you're stabilizing incorrectly. This is kind of like the third and maybe most common mistake that I see. Because even if you fix some of the other stuff, this, this will still happen or it'll happen later on down the line. Now, when I tuck my hips, this is kind of, you're like, it's like you're, you're tucking the wrong way. You might do exactly what I'm saying. You might push your back into the ground and you might, here, watch my head come up when I try to stabilize like this. Um, that, that's kind of an indicator. If you see that in a video of yourself, then maybe you're doing this. If I try to tuck my hips and I have a lot of ab tension, then I'm doing it wrong. If I'm laying on the ground here, I don't need ab tension abs are supporting me. I need hip bone positioning and the abs can kind of help with that. But if I feel rock solid through all of this, what I'm, all I'm doing is locking my abdominal cavity so that my back can't actually move. And so you start to, you don't really overcome the stretch in the quad and you really overuse the rectus abdominis, the six pack ab muscle here in the middle of the body. And you'll even see the head might maybe come up or the chest really crunch down when you do something like that. You'll feel a lot of ab, but what I want you to feel is not all the ab. I want you to feel outer lower abdominals. If you have a little bit of outer lower abdominals, that tells me those obliques and transverse abdominis are being used to position the pelvic bones. Okay. So let me show you the whole like doing it wrong thing. So I would exhale probably forcefully. <sighs> and then I would tuck like this. And usually, I'm gonna exaggerate it here, usually you'll see the belly stick out when you do something like that. That's a key indicator that this is wrong, okay? I want the belly button to sink down. And if you feel it, there should be no tension there. And that's what, that's how you feel the heels pushing in the ground and the hamstrings holding you up. That's how you know those are doing the, uh, the, the tilt for you. So again, wrong, lots of ab, right no ab okay i'm kind of impressed that i can do this now this was a, a simple cue like i just you know abs are supposed to be good right uh so i used to do this all the time and i missed it in tons of clients and you don't want to do that this is this is a, a very like sinister <laughs> mistake because it's masquerading as a positive thing uh, so if i then do that and then i push up like this I'm just, I'm over compressing this and I don't get the rolled back position and the tilted in position of these hip bones. So I can never really shift all the tension onto my glutes and hamstrings and I have persistent back pain. So, or back tightness, not necessarily pain. So if, if those are the things that you're, you're feeling, if you feel like you're doing it right and you just can't, you know, you still have tightness every time you do it. Uh, I would, I would venture to guess without looking at you that that's probably what's going on. But yeah, quick recap. We've got uh, first mistake is I'm arching with my back right away. Second mistake is I'm getting a good tuck, but then I'm losing it at the top. And then third mistake is I'm crunching with my abs to get my tuck like this. Um, Biggest modification to make, and I mentioned this in the mistakes, but just limit your range of motion. Definitely don't push too far. It's really easy to push too far. And then the, the last thing that I do want to say is like, there is, <laughs> you can over tuck, like tucking can be bad for you. So <laughs> try to figure it out. Um, I don't, you know, I don't tell people to round as much as possible. Cause once I do this, like I'm, I'm, my hips are already extended. Like there's not much for me to bridge at this point, it's normal to have a little bit of curve in a little bit of arch in your low back. Um, so all I'm trying to do with the hip tuck is teach those hamstrings to turn on, to catch on and to, you know, be in the position to where they can do the work for this exercise.
Okay, um, so it's not about tucking as much as possible at, at the top. I think that's a common misconception in people who have kind of looked up what to do on the internet or maybe heard about hip tucking on the internet, which isn't everyone. Um, uh, hopefully this helps. If you learned something, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified when I release new videos. If you need something else to watch, you might like my Fix Your Pigeon Stretch video. That's probably the most appropriate one <laughs> for this one. It'll help you kind of loosen up that posterior hip capsule, especially on the left side. It, it gets really stiff due to the natural asymmetries in the body. Um, check that one out, and I hope it helps.